homeschoolers, and that's everyone because we're all homeschooling together. My name is Martita, and I've been homeschooling my children for the past eight years. Today's video isn't so much about homeschooling tips, but it's more about homeschool encouragement. Parents, you are tearing up my inbox about your babies. And I get it. I understand. Now you understand what the teacher has been saying too, huh? Mm. And you understand what your parents meant about you're going to get it back. Okay, so let's just give ourselves a breather. Cut ourselves some slack. No one has gone through what we're going through before. Okay, so it's all we're all in this together and we're going to be better together. Okay. You are your child's learning coach. Your job is to coach them to victory. Don't overdo it with the worksheets. Learn your child's learning style. Take the time to just search on the web. How do I find my child's learning style? Some children, uh, they can do it if they see it or they can do it by seeing and hearing or they are readers and they can read their way through it. Some are hands-on learners. You'll find out. Uh, by taking a quiz, kind of what your child is. And sometimes your children are going to be a combination of both. But don't stress yourself out. Don't stress your children out. Take small doses of school. Get up, take a break. Today on Instagram, Debbie Allen is doing a dance class. I suggest that you all take a 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time break and go dance because, you know, We've all been in the house. We're all a little stressed. Even the children feel it. Some are melting down already. Some of you have been to the grocery store and there's nothing there and you've got to get spam. Well, my household has Hawaiian people in it. So spam is a staple in this house. So you're going to be fine. All of that is fine. Count it all joy. You're going to be fine. I've done all types of school. My children have been in traditional brick and mortar. And that was like our pre-K and kindergarten years. And I knew mm -mm, the school district that I'm in, the standards aren't, you know, they don't have the same standards that I want for my children. Not knocking it, but they didn't offer what I wanted for my children. So then we did online school. And that's where you look at a video or the teacher's doing a live lesson. And then you upload the work or you get the work off the you know, off the classroom schedule. And then some of you are doing Google Hangouts. Some of you are in YouTube uh, classes. But sit there with your with your children and learn what they're learning and, and help to undergird the teacher and your children. You are their coach. Cheer them on to victory. Parents, you can do this. Uh, I do traditional homeschooling with a co-op. And uh, what you're learning today is that you all are doing school at home. You're not technically homeschooling, but we'll take it for what it is. We're all in this thing together. My, my, my children have a teacher that a group of us parents pay that uh, teach advanced classes and whatnot. So we're uploading too. Now my children have gone from classroom to now they're uploading. So I'm getting a little, uh, you know, they're having to get back in their mode from when they were in online school. And some of them like it and some of them don't. But we're going to make it. We're all in this thing together. I just want to remind you parents, you're being stretched. Your, par your parenting is being stretched. Your patience is being stretched. Your time, your talent, your abilities. But that's what builds character. So you're going to be fine. You're going to make it. Just, just make sure the children stay calm. If you don't do lunch every day at the same time, you're going to be fine. Your objective is to feed the children. Make sure they eat. That's all you have to do. Make sure they eat. Give them school and small doses, and you're going to be fine. Um, like I said, it's Wednesday. You made it to Wednesday. Like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see the other videos that I gave with tips. Um, I always like to end on finding the positive and the negative and some of the positives that I've found. Um, they announced recently in my area that the standardized testing was canceled. Now with homeschoolers, we only have to do standardized testing and it depends on which state you're in. I'm in Georgia. Georgia only requires every three years of testing. So my children, I think they were due for a test coming up, standardized test. Um, we don't have to do the state test that everyone else 
does. We do the Iowa test. I think it's called the ITBS test. I digress, but some child did not want to do standardized testing. Some children stress all the way out about standardized testing. Guess what? That's been canceled. That's a good thing. There are some parents, whether they're a teacher or in any other field, they wanted to quit their job. Well, guess what? They now have the time to sit at home and develop an exit strategy. So count it all joy. Find the good in this. There's also some children. I, my heart goes out to them. They're not going to have graduations. They're not going to have proms. Their sports uh, season is over. My children aren't playing tennis and they're a little bummed about that, but they understand that the world doesn't revolve around them. We're having a major crisis in in the world, not just America, but in the world. This is historical um, for our generation and their generation. I hope we never see anything like this again, um, but this is historical. You, you need to take the time to say, hey, what, what can we contribute? How can we solve problems that we're seeing? You have to find the positive in everything. So try to problem solve your way through it. Um, like I said, go to the dance party that's happening today. Problem solve. This is a time for creativity. Innovation is going to be sparked out of this. Maybe you have a, an award-winning barbecue sauce that you've been wanting to release to the world. Now you have time to perfect it. I want to see some books come out of this. I want to see some innovation come out of this. I want to see some, just some, uh, uh, some children that, that came up with some new skills. Let your child find out and get good at something that, that they've been interested in studying on the side. But maybe they've been too bogged down with homework or too bogged down with school to really delve into what they want to do with their lives, not just necessarily what they're told that they have to do in school. I also wanted to share with you all after this and you send your children back to school, make sure you undergird those teachers because uh, you see how hard it is. Now you multiply that by 30 students with 30 different personalities. So some of us owe our teachers apologies and some of us owe our children apologies for just why can't you get this? Maybe it's not being taught on, on the way or in the way that they learn. So just, we all need to cut ourselves some slack, but I wanted to show you some books I don't know how long we're going to be in the house, but you can find these books. I'm an eBay person. You can go to wherever you want to to get the books, but why pay double when you don't have to? You can always, no matter if you're homeschooling or not, you can always find these books. And these books go all the way through high school on what your child should be learning in school. And you can use these to quiz your kids. Maybe over the summer, go through this. Did you learn this? Little Johnny, little Sally, little Susie, whatever. This will help you out, give you a, a guide of what you uh, learn or what they're learning in school. So you don't have to ask them every day. What did you learn in school? What did you learn in school? What did y'all do? You get one of these books, you're going to know what they're doing and what they should be doing. Or you're going to be informed of what school is not doing. And then there's also homeschooling during the teen years. I'm in the teen years. We're getting ready to change the game up uh, with my my two that are getting ready to go into high school. They currently do take advanced classes now. They're eighth graders, but they also take high school classes and they do some college classes. But next year, we're going to change the game up video coming in August. <laughs> but we're getting ready to change the game on the homeschooling level. And like I said, there's many levels to this. You're in the baby stages. You're still falling off the bike and that's fine because today is a new day and you have another day to get it right. And you're not going to mess up your children. And hopefully you're looking at those videos that I've suggested for you. Just like and subscribe to my channel and you'll get some more homeschooling tips. But today's encouragement is stay in your lane and run your race at your own speed and you'll do just fine. I'm Martita giving you some homeschool encouragement and I'll see you later out here in these homeschooling streets.